shot. Oh, I did it? Sweet. Okay. Didn't even take any damage that time. It's a two-handed weapon. Oh, damn it. Oh boy. I'm stuck. Go. Emily? I'll just ignore that for now. Break this, I just need something to hit it with.
bye and have a good night. Jeez. I don't have a weapon. No. to be a way to get to the other side. Oh jeez. Okay, I could have just did that to kill everyone. <laughs>
Now what? Yeah, I'm trapped. Tough cloth. Just some dirty cloth. Just don't look down. Oh, way. zip line. Here we go. Let's go. She's proud of herself. <laughs> Gosh. All right. Uh, don't make any noise. Just be chill. Stay still if you see it. Mount Jeremy mentioned in his book. Jeremy, <laughs> you dropped your... <gasps> what the hell? Hey, lady! Mrs. Lottie? Marcus? Get off of me! What are you doing here? Trying to find my uncle. Jeremy is your uncle? Could you please? <sighs> Thank you. And it's Miss Hartwood. You don't remember me? I remember you, Mr. Bois. I met your brother, Batiste, earlier. I suppose he hadn't found Jeremy either then. We spread out to find him. Can I have this? I'm trying to get to Tarawea. Lottie, did you Fine. paralyze her? Leave the rest. <laughs> I just want Jeremy to come looking. She's not getting up. We have to leave before it comes inside. What? Where? Come quick. Oh boy. Oh, God damn my soul. Oh, I'm back at Dorsetto. 
the dream of the grave under the chenier suddenly vanished, and Emily found herself back at Desetto. Instead of Jeremy, she found Lottie, who just like her brother Baptiste, reminded her of John, who died so bravely in the war. She pushed her painful memories out of her mind and returned to her investigation. She still needed to figure out what to do with the boiler. Okay, so what do we have? So we need to get that. Oh, or a bag. Palette knife. Intended for painting, but is thin enough to slide through the crack of a door. Oh, okay. So we could use that to get these things out of the way. Reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts. Reflections on the power of the verb in certain texts. By Juan Luis Jorge. To act is in itself divine. Even the slightest movement of our hand is evidence of our soul in motion. Yet our free will is so easily overwhelmed by the dullness of everyday life. Our actions become rote and rigid, in spite of luxury and comfort. True divinity is found in the choice of leaving the stage where we all perform. People who discover this freedom unexpectedly will be struck by the terror of this revelation and become paralyzed, or worse turn to suicide. However, if you are able to weather that storm, you will discover that there is a divine path beyond that fear. There is a chance to dismount your destiny and make something new. Something that hasn't been planned for or predestined. There is difficulty in explaining this type of acting as it transcends our everyday choices. This isn't some banal decision choosing one career over the other or even who I should marry. Leaving the stage, no matter how, isn't a matter of course correction. It's a rejection of the story that the creator is telling. S sitting room key. Okay. So we are in the small parlor. Sitting room key is... It's in the gallery. Okay. All right. Uh -huh. And we can it's open this shot. up. Boop. There we go. It worked. Ooh, telescope. I don't have everything I need. The Barlow Lens. Instructions. To double the magnification of your telescope, simply fit this Barlow Lens to your instrument. Then operate the fine tuners to adjust the distance between your lenses. This is easily done while looking through your eyepiece. Simply search for a position where your picture is clear and appears flat. When correctly tuned, your telescope should present a clear picture with magnificent magnification. Cellar key. Don't mind if I do. Okay. Oh, unlocks the shotgun cabinet. All right. All right, we can go get our shotgun. Oh, peacock. Hello. And you come over here. <laughs> now this will come in handy. Hell yeah.
blocked. Oh, jeez. Oh, man, you guys are trapped me in the corner. You guys suck. I was not ready for this. Oh my god, why? Uh, how do I get out of here? It wasn't so bad. It was bad. That was horrible. I kind of want to restart. I'm bleeding. So, I got the sitting room key. I can open this door. It's wet shut. It worked. Oh. Okay. I'm in the mezzanine. I think that's how you say it. Thank you. And shortcut. Cool. <laughs> okay, that was weird. Okay, this goes to the stairwell. Alright. Uh, I'm just gonna look around some more. Coolia. Come on, Grace. I'm too tired for games. I'll even let you play with my jackknife. Oh, good evening. <laughs> you haven't seen a little girl by any chance, have you? I don't think so. Uh, you would have known if you did. The only kid crazy enough to be in this place. She's not in her room, then? <laughs> that would be a first. Always running around causing trouble. She's very hard to pin down, that one. You wanna sip? 
I'm good, thank you. Well, I should be going then. <clears throat> Unless there's anything you need from me. I just want to find my uncle before anything happens to him. Oh, don't worry, miss. He'll show up. <laughs> he is much too lily-livered to kill himself. Why would he? <laughs> it's his greatest ambition, didn't you know? Take care now. McCarthy moseyed off to continue his search for the little girl. Emily had meant to ask why he was looking for her, but decided against it, fearing that it would just prolong an already awkward scene. So this is Grace's room. Cute. Not really. Ooh, just you make a move, see what happens. Oh my god, you guys. I'm outnumbered. I know it's a kid's room, but with these dolls, I gotta get my I gotta keep my shotgun out. A small request. Don't you worry, Grace. Go play your game, bleat and bellow with the others. I won't be jealous. There will be more masquerades. However, I would love it if you would finish my mask for the feast. With love, Ruth. Feel better not move. This was staring at this was staring this way already before, right? Good. Oh, Jack in the box. We haven't met her yet, the one in the wheelchair. Oh man. I was about to say this is like the closest to normal doll here, but then that happens. Was there two kids here? Because there's two beds. Or is it just... Grace's own room that she gets to stay in. Ooh, globe. There's something missing. And this is going to be Cassandra's room. Oh, the one with the wheelchair. Okay. I've seen this. This must be the great Cassandra Beauregard's room. I'm not sure what I expected. The Maybe author. something more extravagant? It's a big room. Margrave Liniment. Of uh, the several medicines prescribed to the author Cassandra Beauregard, this particular bottle contains an ointment for pain relief, sold as the fourth version of the company's popular recipe. Your medicine. Miss Beauregard, I picked up your medicine at the post office today. As you understand, it needs to be administered by the orderlies for your safety. I have put the box in Lottie's room for now, and I'm sure she will find you as soon as possible. Mr. Waits. What's that? I need something else. The medicine bottles had stains of rot on the labels, suggesting some greater shape. They just needed to be put in the right order. But for what purpose? I'm not sure I have everything I need. Need one more bottle.
I'm not sure I have everything I need. I need the key. Alright, so the only thing Alright, so the only area I think I could go right now is to the stairwell here upstairs to the attic. But there is a way down though. I'm gonna check here first. Oh, there you are. Do you teach piano as well? Huh? You're a governess. Did you teach those clawing Casano kids how to play the piano? How do you know about that? Just because grown-ups don't notice children, doesn't mean we don't notice you. Yes. I taught them some piano. Are you any good at it? Not good enough to play a broken one. It fell from the attic. Brought half the ceiling down. It was Jeremy's fault, wasn't it? Nobody knows what happened. You're not wrong. Yo, ah, kid, what are you doing? What are you doing? Little shit. What the hell'd she give me? The prick of the syringe hadn't hurt as much as the humiliation of being played by that child. 
Emily just couldn't make any sense of her behavior. Grace seemed amused, but not mocking. Was this just her being playful? As her feelings subsided, a second thought appeared. She wouldn't have injected her with something, would she? Well, we could check. It's a big needle, too. As the world. Oh. As the world moved into the new decade, America was spiraling into a maelstrom of debt, drought, and death. It was called the Great Depression and ruined many families. It was a fitting name, for poverty also breeds madness through desperation. Yermi was, of course, no such victim, for he already witnessed the darkness within. He knew the shadow that stood on his threshold very well. It wasn't new. It was something that had always been with him. I didn't know there was, like, extra... I guess forbidden knowledge has this bonus text. And this one, the secret objective, that's unlock something in the world. Okay. I got it. I hears ya. Medicine box key. Is that to Lottie's room? Lottie had something in her room. A box you could open with a key. Locked in. Ooh, dining room. Ugh. There's more of that unsettling rot. On the commonplace of evil. On the commonplace of evil. There lies virtue and stark irreverence, careless thoughts of luminous indifference. But blame not the beast we once were, which science so often wished to refer. Not the wicked full of sin, it is you who stand and grin. All our good intentions aside, whereupon we build our pride. Sunless solitude, Follow not this corrupting light. Prophets of confidence always crashes out of sight. Hear me, for we all bear this mark. Thus we must remain alone in the dark. Ha. That's the name of the game. Okay, that opens the way to the stairwell. Unlock this. Opens that. Aha! So that goes here, okay. Uh, Lottie's room is over here. And we got the last one for, uh... Cassandra. Is there still something in Lottie's room that we need? Explored. Completed. Oh. oh okay. I didn't notice this. Nurse watch. Now it shows completed. Okay. Uh
not 100% where I'm going. So the drawing room has a puzzle with the telescope. There's the clerk's office and Dr. Gray's office. And the grand parlor is still stuff in it. Okay. Suggesting some good they just need to be put in the right order, but what for what purpose? God damn it. I'm going back because I don't want to waste that medicine. Here we go. I'm dumb. Okay. So this should be there. There we go. Let's write this down. I'm trying to memorize it. Two, five, seven. Two, five, seven. No, it was this one. So, two Pisces, Gemini, Leo. Pisces, Gemini, Leo. Pisces, Gemini, Leo. H, two, sperm. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what else to call it. H, two, sperm. What do we get? Broken plate. Hmm. 
time, there's something missing. Oh, uh, one of the... One of the countries is missing. I just noticed that. Uh, but anyways, we got a mission here. So... To the cellar! Hold on, guys. Here we go. All right, fuck, gotta find a valve. Forsaken crucifix. Oh, damn. That sucks. Uh, switch. An electrical circuit breaker belonging to a fuse box. It's probably you. Uh oh. I guess this works too. Sure, we have a flashlight. It's fine. Taking this out just in case. Can we switch it back? No, we can't. I don't know why. Jeremy? Oh. Yo, what's up? Uncle. Hello. <gasps> what the hell is that? <sighs> what? There was a dead body in here. Did I just imagine that? The body of DeSetto's clerk, transformed into some eye-clad abomination before he suddenly disappeared. Surely it was all in her head. A horrible vision planted by the dark man. What? 
What's that stain? Looks like some kind of rot. Okay, so I think that's the upper right picture with the sun. Church there in the lower left. Buildings there in the lower right. Okay, I, I got an idea. So this should be here. Uh, where's the church? Right over here. Uh, nine, seven, five. Okay. Seems to be the next one. I think I did all my objectives. Search what I can search around the place. And, uh, I guess let's go. Oh, I gotta look at the numbers again. Uh, nine, seven, five. Okay. 
So that's nine, seven, and then five. There we go. The talisman is showing another room. Something is open. Oh, play switched up a bit. Okay. It worked. I'm in another one of Jeremy's dreams. <laughs> 